Yo, what's up guys, it's Matt. Welcome back to a new video in Japan. And today I'm going to show you my favorite Japanese thrift store or thrift building in case it's huge, Nakano Broadway. <laughs> we are going to be hunting for uh, cheap anime figures and American figures. So don't forget to like, subscribe and activate the bell. Let's go. Okay guys, let's start with our first store. It's called Lashing Bang. Pretty cool store with uh, cheap figurines as well. So you can see you have some uh, Hunter Hunter. Uh, Hero Academia and also some One Piece. So you can see those two already are about $60. These are kind of expensive, of course, but inside we have cheaper figures. Um, the Hunter Hunter is about $25, which is not too bad. And they have some more expensive figurines, of course, about $300. Oh, this one is not too bad, actually. It's about $15. $15, so that's cheap. The Sengoku one, uh, Blood of Science, and then we have another one for $10, so it's not that bad. Piccolo over there, $10. Some small figurines. Let's take a look inside. Let's go first of all. Sorry, the music is a bit loud as always. So the good thing in the store is that so let's start with the DBZ, so the Dragon Ball Z. Um we can see the boxes. The good thing is that you have unopened and also you have open. So usually open prices of course are usually cheaper. Um so these ones are you can see they are like Less than ten dollars, about eight nine dollars, and you got uh, quite a lot of them. Uh, you got over there trunk for fifteen dollars, less than oh, this one is cool, less than uh, seven six dollars. You got a big figures as well over there, a little bit everywhere. You got Robin from One Piece as well. You go to go Gogeta, unopened for six or seven dollars. Uh, you got a cool uh, Son Goku Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan for $10 as well. So you got quite a lot as well. You got also here this whole range as well. You can see on the right side over there. Uh, these are for less than $5 actually. Uh, very cheap. And these ones are $7 to $8. I love if you're a fan of Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaiba. And all the boxes are unopened. $7. It's really cheap. Like that's a. Uh, pretty good deal to be honest really really good deal and then you have also some other figures by the way which are a little bit more expensive they are $35 so the good smile company uh, this one is open and it's $5 even if they're open I mean it's worth uh, getting them and also you got another manga that's very popular Jujutsu Kaisen uh, I don't know if I pronounce it correctly but they have a lot of boxes as well and they range from a bit more expensive, I'll say fifteen dollars. They are a bit bigger as well, like medium size. But at the back, some are open, and they are worth uh, just five dollars. Extremely cheap. Uh, let's take a look, for example, here. No, no picture at the back. Okay. Well, of course, you have a lot of uh, you know other Japanese anime characters if you want to. Also, you have some characters with, you know, they are not in the box. So, for example, Flamingo, and $20, $10, and they are a bit loose, but sometimes it's better if you're, you know, traveling, if you're just traveling to Japan and you're going back to your country, well, it's much better, I guess, to take them, except if you want to resell the figures, that is not great, but at least, you know, they are well maintained in plastic. Really cool. Uh, nice, uh, we got a nice Sanji as well. Uh, what else? Let's see. Well, these are like more like these are older figurines as well. Uh, oh, get some uh, Naruto a little bit. This one is unopened, fifteen dollars. Um, and then you got oh, you got a Yu-Gi-Oh one. Uh, the white dragon with the blue eyes. 
I can't remember. I, I actually had it in French and it's worth $200. It's massive. Uh, yeah, you can see the box is like huge. This is kind of the figurine. It's massive. Uh, let me put back the box up. And then we got, you know, more and more figurines. This shop is extremely cheap, to be honest. Noriaki, uh, Kakioin. Uh, wait, the it's about like fifty dollars, or they are more expensive. The Good Smile Company, especially. I don't know why, to be honest, but I'm not a big fan of those figurines, to be honest. But I mean, you get also the Good Smile Company. Also, you have some Marvel, for example, unopened, and them are like seventy dollars. They sell for a very high price. Uh, I mean, if it's your style, uh, no problem, but uh, not not so much for me. Um, also, you got some you know, classic Japanese figurines uh, box, and those are like a good hundred dollars. You get some uh, Godzilla as well, like such a big size Godzilla. This one is about uh, two thousand dollars. <laughs> you can see the price here: two hundred forty thousand, two hundred forty-two thousand yen. So it's about two thousand uh, dollars. We got a same two thousand dollars here. We got some uh, kaiju as well from the Godzilla movie. Uh, two hundred dollars and more here. And then uh, some in uh, behind the window. You can see those small right here. Okay, now I'm going to show you a second stall. Um, if you are really into uh, Godzilla, especially, uh, I don't know, it's like from the 60s or 70s, like you have massive figures. Uh, you can see the kaiju, they cost about $300. They are like really, really big. I will show you this store very, very quickly because it's very kind of unusual store it's about just monsters and especially Godzilla movies and ultra heroes very very Japanese store and I can show you very very quickly it's kind of cool to see to be honest uh, look at the premium collectible figures around dollars um, let's get in it look at it here you got some Godzilla everywhere and they are freaking massive and they cost about yeah Easily five hundred dollars, one thousand dollars. Godzilla two hundred two. Let's take a look. Look at uh, like all the figures here. Uh, let me see with the, like a lot of them. And uh, easily, I mean, they are very very expensive here. It's like more than hundred dollars for each one. So actually a lot of stores are closed today, but this one is open so you can see a lot of figurines uh, right there usually about ten twenty dollars You got some cool super Mario figurines fifteen dollars oh, You get some Game Boy games as well and a, a Game Boy and a PS1 game uh, More figures get a Cool alien figures over there. Alien figures. Uh, what else do we have? You can see also they have like 50% sell. So you can see the, all those ones are not in boxes. So they're usually a bit cheaper, but they look quite cool. Uh, you can see, oh, there's a cool Dark Knight Batman right there. You can see Wonder Woman. Doesn't look too, too good, but. Uh, Akira Others Let's go inside, let's check inside If I can fit in Okay They have some Dragon Ball figurines also Ooh, holy crap $80 These are like some old collectible ones Dragon Ball again we got some more uh, One Piece right here, and they are about uh, twenty dollars. Oh. 
Get sunny, you got the boat in one piece. Five, $50, $55. It's not too bad actually, not too bad. I've seen it way more expensive. Tony Tony Chopper. Uh, these ones are a bit more expensive. I think they're a bit older. Uh, look at that, how oh, small this is. I mean, I, can, I can't even fit in. And they have a store also just in front and on the right side. That more one. Cube style. This is by far one of the cheapest store where you can buy figurines. Let's check it out. They have one, two, three, four stalls. And um, let me tell you, like their prices are very, very cheap. Uh, let's go inside. Um, hmm. So let's take just look at this huge demon slayer, and it's only ten dollars. Uh, they have a lot of figurines everywhere. Look at this cool Sonic figurines, and it's only fifteen dollars. So pretty, pretty cheap. I'm telling you, uh, or oh, because they're not in the box as well. Look at some Dragon Ball and more, and they are less than ten dollars, eight dollars, seven dollars. They're in good condition as well, so definitely. I think look at the sale over there. The sale is a bit more expensive, it's like twenty dollars. Um, a bit everywhere. Look at those uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards for one thousand dollars. Holy, holy yeah. damn! Yeah, hundred, like two hundred dollars to one thousand dollars. They had like a, like a white dragon with the blue eyes, and it was like almost like three thousand, four thousand dollars. Anyway, let's go to the next one. They have some Disney characters again, for a dollar fifty. Pixar, Monster and Sea. These are extremely cheap, like a dollar or two dollars. You got a your figure for one thousand five hundred yen. Uh, more One Piece figurines for less than less than ten dollars, and they look super cool. I mean, look at that. Really, really nice. Oh, choo -choo 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 -choo. Uh, let's go with one piece as well with some of the boxes some boxes ten dollars ten dollars we got a cool broly over there twenty dollars and we only on the second floor more and more and more figurines uh, oh, we got some uh, demon slayer in one piece again uh, right there I mean, this video is going to be super long, there are so many stores. Let's go to the other one. And they have uh, sales and you can see the camera is okay, okay, no problem. More Demon Slayer. $10 as well. Let's check it out. <laughs> Look at that. Six, Some cool One Piece figurine again. Um, $10, $12, and they look really in good condition as well. Like, let me take a look. We have more here, less than $10. Four as well. Frankie, Frankie for twelve dollars. Small figures of our for like a dollar. All right, on to the next one. Uh, where should we look? Look at that. I mean, there are so many sales. You can see all the one with the pick ones. They are at least twenty percent, thirty percent discount. We got a bunch of them over there. There are so many, I mean, I can't even uh, like show you all of them. Um, you got, you know, Totoro again. My neighbor Totoro, there are so many figurines. Uh, oh, finally we got, I mean, it's very difficult to find some, but we got some, uh, you know, Ryuk, Death Note. Oh, for $7,000, pretty, 
pretty cool. It's very difficult to find those, to be honest. And then we got uh, way more Dragon Ball. Let me give you a quick, kind of a quick look. Now it's going to go up. And they have way more. Uh, they have more here with cars as well. Uh, let me show you maybe the big ones. Uh, we get for three hundred dollars. We got a big single crew. Same here. Two hundred dollars. Uh, let me show you maybe some more over there. Yeah, I'm telling you, this one is just just ten dollars all the time. It's extremely cheap, and it looks really cool. I'm definitely gonna buy one or two. Track over there, eight dollars. Uh, Charlie in the chocolate tree. Uh, so we are going to a very cool store after called Robert Robert. So let's take a look. You see, we have the Greenlands. We have Gizmo in the car for two hundred dollars. Is it a two? Yes, it's a two, I think. Look at him, having fun. Uh, you got Mogismo as well for $30, and they are uh, in the box as well, unopened, right here. There too. They got some ET right there. These are more like American figures, of course. More ETs and Gremlins. Uh, we got some. Uh, I'll call some McDonald's characters as well. Pretty cool. And then some Garfields. Garfield characters. Let me find a way to zoom. Yes, there you go. Right here. Uh, let's go a little bit further. Oh, we've got some Star Wars, finally. So look at those. Uh, they are about yeah, forty dollars over there. I think I don't know if it's this store or another store. They have super rare, rare figure in Star Wars. Uh, you get some more as well for about yeah, five thousand uh, dollars. Five thousand dollars. Sorry, sorry, fifty dollars. Not five thousand dollars. They look really nice. Uh, we got some more right here as well. Right here, <laughs> bigger figurines, also Star Wars. They're about the same price, I would say between 20 to 100 dollars. Some of them, um, we got some Toy Story, a bit everywhere for 15 to 40 dollars as well. You get more right there. Uh, we got some Disney characters. Dingo, Donald Duck, everywhere. As you can see. And you got more uh, Ninja Turtles. Oh, I love the Ninja Turtles. Uh, these ones are about, I uh, you can see. Uh, Donatello, I can't get them. Uh, these range from $20, $30, not that far after you have the box, they are like $80, $90. Uh, these are some original $100 in the pop. Uh, they have more and more here, $90. Uh, and you have the single figurines as well, from the reaction figurines, for about $30 too. Uh, you got some cool ones over there. Hundred dollars this one. And you get more and more. Let's check a look inside. Well, before going to the store, I wanted to show you a bit of Death Note because they are so difficult to find. I don't know why, but these are like you can see the characters from Death Note with Ryuk. And they say it's a set of six. I don't know how much it costs, but oh, six thousand eight hundred yen for all of them. No, oh, so it's not bad. So it's like a thousand something for each one. So yeah, it's actually a pretty, pretty decent price. And at the bottom, you have some really cool comics that I'm <laughs> kind of want to buy. 
he has a Spiderman at 300, signed by Chip Kuzatsky. Uh It's a 9.4, so that's pretty good. Uh, probably worth, I don't know, $150, let's say, $160, but it's priced at already $100, so you don't have a lot of meat on the bone, but I'm thinking about it, it's like a nice piece. And you have uh, Darth Vader as well, but this one is like 150 shoot. I mean, it's 9.8, I, I get it, but still a bit too much. Uh, but, yep. Okay, anyway, let's go into that store. And we can see right away. We get some Funko Pop. A bit everywhere with Marvel Funko Pop. Uh, different types of movies and everything. Uh, let's go with. The first section is kind of, let's go with Star Wars, got a lot of Star Wars uh, figurines pretty much everywhere, $50, $30, you got the uh, Princess Leila, a lot of uh, those, so these are not the original from uh, 1977 of course, probably in the 90s also I'd say. Uh, you got way more here. These are the Kenner from 2021, I think. These are the new ones for $20. Kind of a bunch everywhere. I mean, look at this. Like, really huge. Uh, you get some more Star Wars here as well. Some cool figurines for only. Oh, two dollars. That's super, super cheap. Then we got some uh, old figurines of still Funko Pop. Uh, Master of the Universe. Uh, about thirty dollars uh, each. Molly not at the top. The classic Marvel of the Universe over there. Also, toy Draco, twenty dollars. Oh wow, the sharks! Oh, I used to have some when I was a child. Like a lot of them, they are worth like fifty dollars to hundred dollars now. That's just absolutely insane. I used to have like a bunch of them, uh, but I guess uh, not anymore. Uh, you can see the store is absolutely insanely huge as well. Like there are like ten or twenty or thirty of them. Uh, I got more Star Wars. Uh, but we saw them, so let's take a look at the yeah, the Marvel again. Uh, every, every, everywhere. The Fantastic Four. Also, right here. Fantastic Four. And the music is not loud at all, so it's really, really cool to film. Uh, we got some Spider Man. This one is thirty dollars. That's cool. How much? I love, love, love Spider-Man. Don't forget to look at the top as well. They have some cool stuff sometimes at the top. Or they have some trolls over there. Um, and we got a movie that I really love, uh, Alien, and they have a lot of them with Predator as well. And those are kind of a little expensive to be honest, they are like, uh, I cannot zoom in with the light. It's about uh, 60 70 dollars and they have like all sorts of Predator, I don't know if you read the comics as well. They have a lot of them, but they are a bit expensive, they're like 30 dollars to 100 dollars. A lot of them, some cool alien, 150 dollars. They have uh, really like a, some nice 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 ones. Uh, more predators as well. It's very difficult to see with the light. Maybe I can try. Uh, uh, smaller figurines and toys. And the predators are cool as well. But I really want to show you the other store. Um, and then we got more Star Wars. So you can see already this one is uh, $200. And hundred dollars. These ones are expensive. Uh, Eighty dollars, fifty dollars. 
we get some of the comics. Uh, these are expensive, whoa, compared to the shop that I saw. Uh, they are way more expensive. 6,000 6, yen, so $50. Yeah, up, up, up. We have coins in it. Um, and we got, oh, we get some Super Mario. Important to see Super Mario. Some Sonic first. They are about $30. Not all of them, of course. We got a Pez. Sonic Pez. Uh, nice as well. More Super Mario, Super Mario, Super Mario. These one are $20. This store is a slightly expensive, like slightly, slightly expensive. You got some stuff toys. Moving on to... Uh, oh, like these are more like they are horrors. Film, James Bond, Funko Pop, with the car. 70, uh, $75. Um, get some Robocop. I mean, they have, they have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. A bit of Lord of the Ring Game of Thrones. Yeah. Uh, back to the Future. Uh, easily, like these are toys, easily $50, $60 with a cool cap. That's nice. The Adventure of Doc Brown. That's pretty cool. Funko Comics present. Uh, $30 and it says buy three 10% off oh that's nice it's like a kind of a sale yes. uh, what can I show you what or oh, more Super Mario uh, I think I saw some Batman somewhere yes uh, yes you got some Superman and Batman. Fifty dollars. Some of the box. And you got some at the bottom that are more like the classic ones. You got the Superman with Does he have like a Joker's face or something? Oh, yeah, hundred forty dollars here. And then you got this really cool Batman plus Batmobile for Whoa! Only seventy dollars? That's no they forgot a zero maybe. I don't know, but that's huge. Uh, more uh, Batman as well, right here. I mean just Justice League. Uh, Batman zombie. He got his father with uh, Russell Crowe. Really cool Batman figures as well. Hundred dollars, fifty dollars. Uh, at the bottom, you get some Justice League character, Wonder Woman, the Robin, the Penguin. They're about twenty, twenty-five dollars. Uh, you got some uh, cool Star Wars vintage goods. Oh, finally. Uh, these are like $200, $400. Uh, these are expensive. Look at that. Very cool figures. Are, like, these are 150000 And I think you have at the bottom as well. Oh, you get a nice Return of the Jedi. Launch box. It's very damaged to be honest. Very very dusty, but it was kind of cool. Fire and cannon. Uh, got the Yodo as well. Okay, we are back in the store. I wanted to show you and look at those rare Star Wars figurines. Uh, Four hundred dollars, six hundred dollars. We got our Yoda. The keys. It's. Six hundred dollars. Some figurines from like uh, like nineteen seventy-seven. Uh, Eight hundred dollars. Like the original ones. Look at the R two D two. One thousand dollars over there. 
It's just absolutely insane. Those big boxes. We got some gigantic figurines, Lord of the Ring, Sauron. However, the finger is broken, you can see. And uh, also the crown is broken. And that's why it's only, I think it's about only $300. And we got a super sick predator, like so cool, $1,000. And one behind for $800, they are just amazing. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and activate the bell. And I'll do more videos like this. See you.